Okay, welcome back to Jeff Outdoors. We're back in the maple shop. And today's update for maple sap and syrup season 2023 is, as you can see right over here, there's only one barrel left in the shop. Which means what? If you've been following along, the others are out by the evaporator and they all have sap. One is full. The other one will probably be full by tomorrow. That'll put us over 100 gallons uh, up until probably Wednesday. We have some more uh, roller coaster temperatures this week, but we've got we've got some rain coming on Thursday, Friday. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything torrential, I don't think. And I just saw like a long range forecast into March where we may see some more polar air moving down into uh, the area. Maybe we'll have two maple seasons. Whoa! <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Two maple seasons in one year. Because when it gets real cold, the trees reset and then they go quiet. They don't produce. The one thing we kind of saw today was this happens. It warms up too quick. Uh, it's actually up to about 50 degrees outside. Uh, no, actually more than that. It's about 54 degrees outside today. Uh, I gathered about 40 gallons of sap today. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good on one of those uh, quick warm-ups. Some of the taps have slowed down quite a bit. Uh, they should reset tonight. It's going to be about 30 degrees. They'll reset a little bit, and then it's going to creep back up tomorrow. Thursday, they're probably not going to run much. It's going to shock them up into, uh, it's going to be uh, like 60, it's going to be like 60 two degrees or something, something crazy. So the sap, the sap doesn't like to run when it warms up real quick into the sixties. It just, it just stops. So it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna reset maybe then after that, because this Saturday, which is gonna be the first boil, this Saturday is uh, gonna be cold. So it's gonna be like 27 degrees, uh, colder on Sunday, I think maybe mid twenties, something like that. So. Uh, this weekend, we'll, we'll see a reset. We'll go into next week. We'll kind of re recoup and regather and see how the forecast is looking, and kind of just kind of go from go from there. And, and you just got to kind of go with the flow on uh, what Mother Nature has has in store for us, aka what God has in store for us. So uh, He created the weather, and we got to roll with it. So um, just when I was out collecting sap, I have. One barrel left to put out once the sap starts flowing more to, to then fill and get it uh, get it loaded with sap and ready for boil. So right now I was just kind of cleaning up shop here a little bit and uh, put the old wag sap wagon away. If you if you haven't if you haven't guessed uh, just yet, um, I have the wagon here. So I have taps that are in immediate vicinity out here around the shop and around our property and I take out the old John Deere. I put uh, all my uh, sap uh, containers uh, in the back of that. I go around, I fill them up and then I put them in the, the big barrels outside for long-term storage. You don't want to hold sap more than about seven days, which I don't. Um, that's the max I'll go. Anything past that, you're really risking uh, lesser quality sap for boil, lesser uh, maple syrup at the end. So uh, I guess uh, that's rule of thumb for me. Some people might argue that to each his own. So just kind of putting this away real quick. And I think... I think if anything, I think if anything, we can already say that the uh, maple season has already started off pretty well. Um, the temperatures this week are kind of, they're going to be kind of a bummer, but uh, the long range forecast. So big thing with maple, maple season every year is watching the weather. And there's this, there's this Arctic oscillation that, that happens over the, the North Pole and it just weaves and bobbles and cold air comes down and sweeps up hot air from the 
Gulf of Mexico comes and sweeps up and you have this rotation like this. So we're coming out of a La Nina pattern right now. We're actually going into a neutral phase in between La Nina and El Nino. So the La Nina presents more of a, uh, uh, a pattern that is, it can promote a little bit more snow and cold, but ultimately when you come out of it, uh, or I'm sorry, when uh, you get into a neutral phase, it's kind of when you start maybe seeing your normal winters that you would have. And as we move into more of an El Nino pattern, that could bring more moisture up from say the Pacific, up across Mexico towards us. But then we have the cold sweeping down from Canada, those meet, and this can actually produce, uh, from my understanding, I'm not a meteorologist, my understanding is an El Nino pattern can actually present uh, some of the heaviest snows for where I am. So they're saying right now with the neutralized pattern between the La Nina, moving out of La Nina into El Nino, getting into that neutral phase, we're actually seeing some polar air that's going to be coming down, I think after this weekend. And it might be sitting all the way through like March 20th. So we're winter is not over. If you watched uh, Groundhog Day, uh, Punxsutawney Phil, he forecast six more weeks of winter, which uh, that was my call right off the bat. I, we're just not done. Uh, it's just something telling me that we got, we're going to get a, a March snowstorm. That's my prediction. We're going to get a March snowstorm right here where I'm at in Northern Ohio. So uh, if it's your first time, first time tuning in, uh, Welcome aboard. Thank you for liking and subscribing. It is maple season here in Northern Ohio. Uh, I am located in the Amish country area. And uh, this is my fourth year doing maple syrup. And I built my own evaporator out of a 55 gallon barrel drum. And you'll be seeing that in upcoming videos. And we'll be boiling off the maple sap and uh, boiling it down into maple syrup and putting it into little jars and putting labels on them and slapping labels on those. and. Uh, getting getting the product ready and available. So uh, what's the funnest part of maple season? Gee, I don't know. Uh, I like I actually like the sap collection. You never know what you're going to get tree to tree. I use buckets. I don't use the tubing that you might see on some of the big production guys. Uh, I go around tree to tree, and you never know what you're going to find in the bucket. So that's fun. Another fun part is I like slinging this. This is my wood pile sling this wood into the evaporator, get it going, and you just watch that steam, especially on a really cold morning. That steam just goes real slow and creates its own little cloud, and it's it's all part of the experience, so that's uh, pretty good. So uh, just a quick check-in through this week here from the Maple Shop, and uh, we'll uh, keep you updated on what we're doing. I got about 40 gallons today, got 57 and a half gallons the, uh, yesterday, and things are moving along. So stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next shop video and the next people videos from uh, Jeff Outdoors right here. Thank you.